Did you pray to your Paisuri demon? <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> All right, we're back. Finally, chat. It feels like it's been so long. Oh god, that's right. Oh, past Vinny, what have you done to future Vinny? Why would you do this? There you are. Glad you could make it, Cloud. Tifa. Once a year, we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some gains in the great outdoors. What do you say? Care to sweat with us? I think yeah. I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. Train with us as long as you like. You mean it? Well, I might just take you up on that. Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would you say is the key to a good workout? Um... An unwavering resolve for gains. <laughs> Fair enough. The heart is the strongest muscle. But I'm not too concerned about that. As you know, our passion for getting pumped up is second to none. Now let's get down to business, shall we? The reason I wanted you to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility and I want them gone. Sure. Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. So you'll be doing all of us muscle heads a big favor. Okay. Alright, so we gotta kill some stuff? Alright, good. Um, so chat, I'm doing this because this helps build, uh, affinity with Tifa. So we're gonna kick some ass, and then we're gonna do the card quest, and then Gold Saucer. Wonder what little Tifa would say. I think she'd be pretty... Pretty what? Oh. Kinda what? Does this count as mu- yeah. Landfish. We're so over-leveled for this section, though. Well, not, like, massively over-leveled, but pretty over-leveled. Go on, Cloud. Just continue being useless. Cloud, we're trying to kill fish over here. Can't really go wrong with steak, I guess. What? Huh? Oh, sorry. Just some mental meal prep. The ideal post-workout dish. <laughs> so, you were the one behind Seventh Heaven's menu? Half was a holdover from the old owner. The better half was mine. Huh. Should I hate there more? Yeah. You snooze, you lose. You heard that, Cloud? <laughs> Professional dipshit, aka Cloud Strife, learns that he should have eaten at his friend's restaurant more often. Hope you don't mind, Hey, Cloud? Would you say you're a picky eater? I like chicken Soldiers tendies. Can't be choosers. We ate what we were fed. Well, I used to be super picky, actually. Really? Used to be. Not anymore, though. Can't be choosers in the slums, either. What about crab? Mm, what about no. crab? <laughs> yeah, me neither. I like that line out of context. Get ready. Don't overdo you know, that could be this game's Gungaga. Nah, probably not. Question. What can 
kind of meals do they feed soldiers? Pig slop. They put a lot of thought into making them healthy. Not much into making them tasty. Ugh. <laughs> that face says it all. You know, it's funny. What? Didn't realize it at the time, but... We ate pretty good when we were kids. Yeah. Homegrown fruits and vegetables. <sighs> and great chefs eager to use them. Oh. How much is Cloud just like pulling from his ass? I don't you know what I mean? Like how does he How does he know this stuff? He remembers a bunch of stuff, but his memory is so bad. Reminds me a little of me. If only I could wield a big sword. Gauss, he's a puppet. Wow, I just keep leaving that quest zone. I'm going to assume it's there. Let's just go there. Can, can we just keep this music on? Yeah, I drew a lot of cloud in my notebook, and then I looked back years later, and it was just Zack. I was using black pen. I keep hearing about Keanu Reeves and Sonic the Hedgehog film as Shadow. I've mentioned it a, a couple times. I don't really know what else I can say about it. It's just gonna be Keanu Reeves. All right. Focus. Listen, I, I've said this before, I like the Chungus Man as much as anybody. I think he's a very charismatic dude. And in the right role, he's... he's good. But if you think we're gonna get anything other than Keanu Reeves... ...then I think we're mistaken. That's the last of them. You ready to head back? Because, you know, he's gonna just be like... Hey, Sonic, it's me, your old Choom. Shadow. Alright, wake the fuck up, Sonic. Time to go fast. Recover the Chaos Emeralds. Is that a chili dog? Yeah, put the beans on it. Oh, hey there, Cloud. Steve, huh? How'd you two took care of our little... It's a cyberpunk problem. reunion. Yeah, basically. Thank you enough. Now we can get back to training fiend free. Excuse me. Sorry about it. But you wouldn't happen to be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest. Would you? Uh. Watch it, rookie! Don't badmouth us! But that's how it went down, right? <laughs> You're Tifo, right? After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here! Oh, wow. And I'm not your only fan. Look! Only fan? Because we wanted to be just like you! It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership has absolutely skyrocketed. Needless to say, we're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration! Which is why I... Uh, I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest! Uh, right now? So you know... I'm Normal human things. To achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. How's that sound? Boy, <laughs> more mini games.
I'm so pumped! Yeah, keep it up! <sighs> Don't you ever get <sighs> sore? That was perfect. <sighs> I can hear your abs crying out in ecstasy! <laughs> Chat, what do I do? Oh! Oh! Incredible form! Just like that! Beautiful! Where'd that come from? Truly incredible! It's almost like your muscles are singing. Your muscles are singing. Come on, man. We gotta do this again sometime. Don't go easy on me, okay? I got it this time, Jack. I'm at a loss for words. Now's your chance, Amina. I don't. I don't got it. Who knew sit-ups were this hard? Yeah, keep it up. Don't you ever get sore? It's almost like your muscles are singing. Well, beautiful, just like that. I keep like faking myself out, Chad. Is the problem? Where'd that come from? That was perfect. Cloud's not even encouraging. Cloud's just staring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throwing for content? Bro. This is gonna be fun. What's the content? Tell me what the content is. Show me show me where the content lies between. Betwixt. You're killing it! <laughs> Truly incredible. Really? Incredible form! You're both so stunning! It's almost like your muscles are singing! <laughs> what happened? I pressed the button. Chat, I'm fucking garbage at this minigame. That was perfect. <laughs> Show up. Yeah! Keep it up! <laughs> Truly incredible! <laughs> Just like that! <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Beautiful! Come on! Fuck you, man! Listen, I can play the piano in the game. I just can't- I don't like this one. Just warming up back there, but now I'm ready to fight for the time. These abs are ready when you are. The real reward is the friendship we'll make with Tifa. Don't go easy on me, okay? Here it is, chat. This is it. I got it this time. No more mistakes. You're killing it. I'm at a loss for work. Don't you ever get sore? That was perfect. It's almost like your muscles are singing. <laughs> Show off. Your are so stunning. Incredible form. 
You're killing it! Where'd that come from? Beautiful! Yeah, keep it up! Don't you ever get sore? Truly incredible! Just like that! That was perfect! Incredible form! I did it. That was one hell of a workout. What can I say? Chad, at one point, someone in the background goes, Beautiful! <laughs> wow, you've got abs of adamantite. Like Hugh so Neutron. Lot. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, to all of us. Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you poured gallons of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Honestly, I... Sorry. Thank you. Glad I could help. Well, actually, I was hoping that, if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? What do you mean, muscle Me? mentor? Really? I don't know. By all means, you have my blessing. If you don't mind dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. If that's what you want, then I'll back you up. Oh my gosh, thanks, coach! <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Muscle mentor. Has a nice ring to it. There you go, then. Your extermination fee. And is promised a little extra for helping her out. Come back whenever you want to pump some iron. You're always welcome. Was, was that it, chat? Did we, me and Tifa, level up our friendship? We did it. We're friends now. Okay, there's, there's a cards in Junon right now. I'm assuming the cards are... no? We're just gonna finish up the card stuff, then we'll go to the gold saucer. And, and you know what? We'll let the chips fall where they may. The full card quest will take the rest of the stream? What do you mean? What does that mean? No, we were at the end of it. Toe sucking mini game? There's no toe sucking mini game. Uh, so chat, I don't see any additional card points on the map here. Is it like... Go under Junon to see the local map. Probably means you will just lose a lot. Oh, okay. I still don't see. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it here. What the hell is Rhonda gonna do about all this? She's gonna take that fight to shit on D pad. Must be in the area to the right-hand side of Junon. Yeah, that's what I figured, but I didn't see it there either, so... They're in a building, you have to find them, they don't show up on the map. That's kind of dumb. All those willing to fight against Shinra's tyranny are welcome in the... Violence isn't the answer. 
We're gonna reclaim these waters and make them beautiful again. They're in on okay, I'm being told. <laughs> All right, chat. Oh, there it is. Why is it what? Chat, that wasn't on the map a minute ago, right? What the hell is Rhonda gonna do about all this? She's gonna take the place I, I don't know, man. It is in the second floor of a building, but you, you had to, like, I think get here first and then, or scroll up. I don't, I don't know. Well, we did it. Maybe. Mister, are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go around or two with Are you, you Shining I'm Twins? Kevin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo. A team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. And how about some pocket lint? Griffin. <laughs> Maybe hmm. short oh man just one i don't know chat uh maybe we could i cannot deny i would love to deny but i cannot i'm gonna try that it's gonna be probably a bad idea but i'm gonna try it and then i'm going to replace Once again, I don't have options. I'm just gonna, like, fucking utterly destroy the middle lane. Maybe. I don't think we're getting the top lane. Oh man, is this a is this a loss? <laughs> Lost to chapter three kids. No no no, they're they're shit. Oh man. They're, no, they're 
like level seven. All right, I lost. I lost. Vinny, I think you might have a card game addiction. Well, I just disagree with your hypothesis completely. I reject your hypothesis. We can we can still pull something out of the out of uh, our bum bum bum. Now I get the Toxy Rat. Shit. I feel like I have more lane coverage, but I'm just... Ah. Oh. I was going to say doing poorly with, with numbers, but I think we got it now, kind of. How the fuck did I know? Did someone just say Colonel Nabunga? No one said Colonel Nabunga, right? <laughs> N-E-B-U-N-G-A. Nabunga. Cool of new bunga. Oh, really? Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. Is that which Devin is that? Is it Devin chat? A good start, good cards. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Just don't get that, don't get, ah! It's mine! Oh, if I could put down the Riot Trooper chat. Oh, man! Cloud is just being a bully. This is just bully shit. It's 
awful cloud. Why would you do this? I mean, I did lose to his brother once. Is that the best I've ever done? Wait, so 10 and 20, right? So let's see. Ten, twenty, eleven, and twenty, eleven. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I think we're done. <laughs> what an absolute shutout. Destroy the child. Aw, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three kills? He totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Sovereign. This is it. <laughs> I can't take Only him seriously when he remains. says stuff like that. The monster of chaos. I know nothing of their skills, but I have faith that yours are superior. Vanquish this fiend and the witch's card will be yours. It's in Shinra Manor. Is this the last cards chat? No. This is second to last. Should I do this another time and just do story now? Do it now. Wow, okay, a lot of people want me to do it now. That's fine. I'm down for that. I'm surprised at how many people wanted to see the, the like, were like, no, do it, Ben. Because usually cards is forbidden. But, you know, between that, between this and Balatro, I feel like people have been enjoying the cards more lately. Just wait until Slay the Spire 2 comes out. Need Vincent! Something. Of course. Should have known I wasn't the only one seeing ghosts. Shame, though. Some stories are better forgotten, including the Queen's. Know about the Witch's card? I heard you might have it. The Emerald Witch? As luck would have it, the card does happen to be in my possession. But it could be yours, should you prove yourself worthy. They should have like, gone in a completely opposite direction for Vincent Valentine. It could be yours, if you prove yourself worthy. What's wrong, Cloud? It's me, Vincent Valentine. What are, you, what, are you, what are you even doing here? And Shinra Mana. I feel like, yeah, they could have, they could have gone Costanza.
That sucks. Blade. Chat, am I going to have to utterly shut out Vincent Valentine and ruin his... Oh, well, almost. Not quite. If I had that Moogle still, uh, the Moogle would have made it so... No, oh, you know what? I'll just do that. Oh, yeah, no, Vincent Valentine is, is fucking defeated already. He's a punk. Wow, Vincent, you are punk. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I knew I should have... Fucked up. Chad, I fucked up. I talked shit, I got hit. I was waiting for- oh my god. Chat, no! I was waiting for a three star. I'm... I played myself. Don't leave bases open. I know, I was I was greedy. I was hoping for a better card to put there. Ah, oh, the greed. Chat, the greed. Why am I playing like this? This isn't how you play Queen's Blood. Oh, this is, this is chat. No, it's just throwing for content is all this is. Wow, I played myself again. <laughs> what am I doing? It's not over yet, Snake. It's over! It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, damn it. Shaisa! Shaisa! Oh, looks like you squeezed your last hog this time. Uh, 
Yeah. Someone just called him a vampire cuck. Chats sure says some weird stuff. You, you, all right, you may not be entirely wrong. That. Okay, okay, okay. I have a good good play here, chat. Good play here. I think it, it's a good strategy to help your opponent. You know, for sportsmanlike behavior and shit. Could play Moogle Trio and then place a Moogle card down there. I just don't know if that's worth it. Or do I play a Midgar Sormer? Is it over? Should have played the Midgar Swarmer way earlier, yeah. You have to play the big snack early to rack up point. I didn't even I didn't even read what the card was doing. I should have paid a little more attention. I needed to rack up point. will not. You will not place in the middle lane. Chat, this is, this is definitely doable. I would love to place that card down, but I have to wait a minute. Place it down. I'll place it down. That snack is getting strong, chat.
I worry that's going to enhance them too much, but I'd rather place that and then a two. This is the run. Vincent is going down. Snack was too strong. So A Vincent is dying. It seems a transfer of ownership was in the cards after all. Be warned, that which appears a mere pastime is shrouded in darkness. I suggest you proceed with caution, lest it consume you too. This the is why he was in the coffin. Is graver than I feared. Here, she'll guide you to the queen. The rest is in your hands. All right. Is Queen's blood the dark part of Vincent's heart? I see you successfully obtained the Emerald Witch. I noticed the card was radiating energy, which I took the liberty of analyzing. It revealed the location of the Queen. Evidently, she resides within some ruins in the Gungaga region. The climax of this saga is nigh, and only you, the Blood Executioner, can bring it to a close. Best of luck. It's weird. <laughs> it's a little weird, buddy. But you know, we're we're gonna see this through. We're, we're, that's it. We're right there, chat. We're right there. We are right, bloody there. And it's in fucking Gungaga. So of course it's in Gungaga because that's the place I don't have any progress in Gungaga. Gungaga, Gungaga, Gungaga. So there's been some talk of this song. Been some rumblings. I've seen uh, people share their distaste for this, the music in the Gungaga region. As well as, you know, some people who think it's cool. Me? Gungagant. Of course, it's fucking in Gungaga. I've been trying to avoid this region. Someone said it, it sounds like Chrono Cross music. A little bit. I can hear what... Yeah, I can hear it. Kinda. What are your thoughts on this game? Head empty. My brain is like a slinky that has been unwound. It no longer has any spring. Has anyone, like, made a, a thing called a Slanky? Like, as a competition for Slinky? And, like, just made it cooler? 
Like, it's the slinky, sure, but it's cooler. It's the slanky. Chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Vinny, can you check and see if you've left the gas running? Go south from the airport where you met Sid. It's faster that way. It's just like Babby's singing Gungaga. So yeah, the mushroom mechanic is my least favorite chocobo mechanic. It's just so restrictive. I don't want to fight it. Grand horns are Cut off. See, now I'm back here again. Oh, there's an alternate exit out of the airport. Can I open this? Oh, no, Cloud. Don't magnetically attach to your chocobo. Once you leave the airport, just turn right and follow along the wall. That has led us exactly into this ravine. So I'm getting a little bit of Ajita from this. Like, it's just... I get that they wanted to make, like, a dense jungle. But... It's, it's just not fun to navigate. That has not helped at all, actually. That, that, that actually was not helpful. And we're just kind of running in circles now. I really want to do the last card battle. So hopefully we can do that. That would be nice. Do we have to, like, go along the river, maybe?
But if we go this way, there's no this way. Uh -huh. Maybe it's alongside the reactor. Uh, thank you, whoever raided. I saw that there were raid messages. Thank you. Did Chadley lay an egg? That's very... Um, I, I look over at chat and I see the same chat message getting deleted like six times and it's just, did Chadley lay an egg? Chat member is so committed to the bit. Hello, Cloud. It is me, your friend Chadley. I have finally laid three eggs. And I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for keeping them warm while I was gone, Cloud. That's right, the world's first chocobo human hybrid is about to be born. I call it the Chadkabo. At that point is when you quit and uninstall the game. really not sure what the fuck I'm doing anymore, chat. I, I am trying so hard. We're trying to tell you. you. I understand that, but there's so many chat messages, I can't really figure out which ones are real and which ones are Vinny hugged the wall. <laughs> which was, to be fair, not the worst idea. That idea. Look it up. So how do I look that up? Do I just type? What do I type? Okay, so that's not working, right? So that that's not where we're going. This looks like a cave system. Let's try running along here for a minute. It's weird because it looks like there's going to be a cave here, but there's not. The water next the right of it. The water next the right of it. Well, I definitely don't need to do, or I don't want to do a lot of this Gungaga stuff. Uh, we can't go in the water. You have to use an inflatable chocobo. The chocobo can grind tree branches, and there's one that you can grind to get there. I'm, I'm being told now, chat. I see what appears to be a grindable tree branch. Yeah. 
You know, if, if a chat member didn't say that, I wouldn't have known to do that. I think maybe they tell you at some point in the game. But it was a while ago, so I probably just forgot about it. There's nothing up here. Okay, that was pointless. We did it. Chat, we made it. I think. Maybe. I don't know, there's there's a lot of dead ends and stuff. Okay, here it is. Oh, finally, Jesus, we've made it. No. No, we made it. We made it. Maybe. No, we didn't. Coney raided? Oh, Coney. Hey. The bluey. <laughs> the, the bluey. Brigade. <laughs> What's up? Thanks, Coney. I appreciate it. Oh, Cloud. It's you. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? I would prefer to have this conversation in private. It was you? There it is. The source of everything. All I ever wanted was to be worth something. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Fear me. Until... I started fearing for myself, for what I might become. Because I can't keep winning forever, and once I start losing, I'll be worthless. Worse, a nobody. When I found oh. her, I knew that I would never lose again. That I'd been chosen for something greater. That I was blessed. But this, this isn't that at all. Speaking to me, telling me to give myself to her power, to dominate. I've tried not to for so long, but I, I can't. For those just joining, please keep in mind this is very serious and you shouldn't oh, be laughing. Yes. I remember well this land, for it was once mine. <laughs> Until that witch rally be unwashed and put me to the sword. Well, You're witnessing the conclusion of the card side say? quest. I say side quest, but this was like eight, six hours of gameplay. Queen. For you, human, have a blood debt to pay in full. I will absolutely destroy you, Shadow Blood Queen. 
This story got bonkers. It, it got, like, real weird. But, you know, it wasn't boring. Do I have to put that card I won in my deck? Or is that just story card? Okay. I'm gonna make a modification. And I'm gonna put the Emerald Witch in the deck anyway. We're pivoting to high card. There we go, there's that chocobo. Wait, she starts with a card on the board already? And that's not cheating? Fiddle going absolutely mental right about now, chat. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Let me play my mushroom. God damn it. Let me do my show for Christ's sakes. So, um, trying to get my ass handed to me a little bit here, chat. What, um, what, uh, what, what's happening here? This doesn't seem, this doesn't seem right. It's this card. It's that fucking card, chat. It's... What is this card? Raise power by three for each other enfeebled allied and enemy card. I was told to, to do this. I was told this was a good idea. It's the snack is get more powerful. Don't know why I said that like that, but it looks like she runs out of cards pretty quickly at the very least.
keep feeding snake friends. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's happening, chat. Okay. Each time a card gets debuffed, consider using a card in your deck with the same effect. Check the emerald. She directly counter the counters the queen. Hang on. Raise power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. That's not really a counter, is it? Um, so, okay. All right, all right, all right. So, um... I'm gonna get this out of the deck. So I need more things like the Midgar Sormer. It is because it cancels the debuff? Oh, it does? Okay. Look at the pumpkin fella. Wait, which which is pumpkin fella? Raise power by one for um, each other enfeebled allied and enemy card. So we're gonna yes, that's good. Death Claw is a good starter. I'm looking for Death Claw. When enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. That That's a very, very good card, yeah. Okay. What do you think? Um, anything else? Chocobo Jockey is good. Gives you plus 10 when you win the lane it's in. Why is Security Officer still there? I don't know. You can get extra pumpkin. So basically, to win this, you just kind of have to do the exact deck that the game wants you to have for it. Which is, you know, part of the fun is figuring it out, I guess. I don't think I have Chocobo Jockey chat. The new Jocker. I don't, I don't have the new Jocker. No. Oh, there's... Okay, so there are multiple ways to win this. Chat saying they won this with a different deck. Vinny, it was right there. You just blinded the jockey. Aw, oh, man. Raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two. So if I place this within reach... That's the play, right? Dead center, if you can. That's what I was figuring. Let me see if I can actually make that happen. Yeah, the problem is actually getting... We need, um... Oh. Oh, man. We need, like, a, a Chocobo boy <laughs> or something.
There we go. Saucer squad. No, that wasn't it. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. How about that? What am I doing? Oh, I'm making the cart stronger. Um, yeah, yeah, we get, uh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's the ticket. I need something to, um, destroy. I don't think I have anything I can destroy. Melford, are you okay? No! No, I'm losing! I'm sacrificing cards to increase the power of my other cards, chat. So, as, as you can tell, that was a really good strategy, and we're going to try that again. Really, as you can tell. Really good strategy, as you can tell. Got a, a good start. Just about figuring out how we're going to make this work. I think I can... We can make this work, chat. I'm doing it. We're going Midgar Zormer. Again, Midgar Zorlum is what I thought it was called. Zorum? Zorlum in the original? There's a music loop issue. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can get... That middle. It's gonna get taken from me, I think, but... Not yet. Don't take it. Don't take it. That was such a bad move on my part, chat. It was such a bad move. Yeah, so I might have I might have fucked this one up pretty badly. Please use the witch. I've been trying to use the witch. That's that's the whole point. 
probably don't want Midgar in, in the mid. Yeah. Well, shit. Someone just said you can just punch her. I don't know, chat. I might have to restart again. I I'm going for a very specific strategy that I don't think I'm going to get. It's called controller battery lowing. Oh, that didn't kill that card? I thought that was going to kill that card. I'm doing worse now. Pretty consistently replace security officer I like security officer but all right um let's try this setup one more time and then I will definitely I will I will get rid of some stuff Chocobo Saucer Squad. What are you doing? What am I doing with them? I need... Man, I need like a diagonal card with one. I don't, I don't know if that's being... Ah! Shit on your own balls. Okay. We'll, we'll get rid of security officer. It's <laughs> I'm just going to take a quick look here and see what cards I have that may be that may be good to get me that middle lane Vinny blinded the jockey again yep I see it 
It's when you win the lane, receive a score bonus of 10. So we'll get the jockey, and uh, could use maybe one more thing. I think Valron. Raise power by two for each other enfeebled allied card. That I like. And I'm going to try to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Saucer Squad. Genetic is an insane card if you have it. I don't think I do. Or Gi? I forget. Let's see. He doesn't have it. It's okay. This is it. This is it. I got it. This is the one. middle is so hard to get. It's already beans. Middle is not meant to be taken. What the fuck am I doing with this Emerald Witch? Yeah, I don't know. Got some three stars with no opportunities. Now, the Chocobo Jockey would be really great right about now. Damn. The one saving grace is that she runs out of cards pretty quickly. What does that mean? It means that I still have cards. If you pumpkined bottom, it was win? No, really? Well, that was, I mean, you know, I don't know. M maybe there is some possibility there. Um, let me just check for one. Yeah, none of these cards have diagonal.
Vinny, you gotta lose Ranger. I need to find a replacement for Ranger then. Put in Chimera. Raise power by two for each enfeebled enemy card. Listen, I'll try anything. People are saying the Johnler. <laughs> Who is the Johnler? Don't take mid. Don't take mid. All right. Pumpkin Chimera in top and bottom. Don't waste them in middle. You can't win. Okay. Okay. That's just going to kill the Chocobo Jockey. That's that's mental. The debuffs are, are just crazy. I, like, they're all over the goddamn... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Man, why didn't I put the jockey? I could have put the jockey. Feed the worm? All right, the worm. Wait, 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 chat. Maybe, maybe if I feed the worm, the Moogle trio can feed the worm. Chat, we're feeding the worm. Wait. Oh no. Oh, I didn't have enough to feed the worm properly, chat. 
Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I should have put down the jockey. You wrong ordered so hard. I know, I know, I know. I didn't love it. I really have to, like, stop even trying to get the middle. We can feed the worm, though, chat. minute here chat wait a minute wait a minute chat wait a minute chat i got the emerald witch I won. I did it. I knew it. I knew my stupid strategies would pay off. Well, thanks for the help too, chat. You helped me pick out some good cards. So it was it was a team effort and I appreciate I appreciate all the uh, something. I don't know what it was, but I appreciate it. Oh my god. Cloud? You good? Did that card like sever an artery? What about She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? Oh. <laughs> Be still, little puppet. You belong to me Because now. you are puppet. <laughs> I thought he was just going to shoot Who's her. 
Game over. This is insane. Okay, this is so over the top. I can't help but love it. Well, it's not... You know what? I've seen more over the top in this game. But it was enjoyable. For stopping her. For stopping me. Guess I really let all that genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win, and look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. Few ever break free. You're the best because you worked your ass off, not because you're a genius. Got it? <sighs> got it. <sighs> well, on that note, I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later! All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thank Shut you. up. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet. Now I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Blood Champion. Honestly, chat, I would have spent 20 bucks. I don't want to give Square any ideas, but if Queen's Blood was just its own game, with the amount of stuff it currently has in it, like the amount of cards that are in this game, the amount of battles, the story, I, w I would have spent like 20 bucks on that because I enjoyed it so much. And because there were so many different card battles, there's so many different cards with lots of different effects. You get story, you get unique interactions. I would say that's one of the best minigames Square has ever created. Right up there with um, Triple Triad. Anybody want to check out that tower? Blitzball? Yeah. Blitzball was not really for me. It was fine. I, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was really, like, as good as Triple Triad. I just wanted to get this tower, and now I'm seeing, like, do I have to climb up something or something? Some stupid shit. I just want to get this one tower, chat. And then we're going main story. We're going main story. That's not... Okay, that's not how you get the tower. Oh, it's another one of these things. Bird. Because I'm thinking, like, what if I ever have to come back here? And then I remembered, I'm not doing the rest of the Gungaga stuff. The only way I think I would end up doing more of this is... If the game ends, and I'm so distraught, and I need more, and I end up doing all the side quests. 
or if no no benga makes an announcement that your progress carries over from this game to final fantasy 7 3. Got to do all the proto relics for the super boss. For the privilege to get your ass handed to you by a super boss. To be put on a spit roast. Only after you're done doing all this busy work. Do you get the. Do you gain the privilege? I defeated Odin in my pre-record. Relatively quickly, too. I mean, I leveled up, but I also had the knowledge of how to defeat the Odin. Odin. wanted to make another two saves. We got two saves right here. For our Thou Art Rosa contest has passed, and we are no longer the regardless of blood, screams of pain. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. Check Tifa's affinity level. One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment alone with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationship with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. You'd better rest up before your big day. How do you find out? Okay, I don't think it'll be Aerith. I can't wait to see who wins the contest. The entry deadline for our Thou Art Rosa contest is Screams of pain. Chad, I definitely got Tifa. Listen, I'm okay even if it's Barrett. Let's just to hang with a homie. Let, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Hello, Cloud. It is me, Chadley. Congratulations. You want a date with me. Hmm. What about... <sighs> Come on. Think. Hey, hello right there. there. How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Pants. Never know until you try. Hmm. Poopy pants guy. Oh. They say curiosity killed the cat. Well, rest in peace, Kate Chith. It's me, Kate Sith. Are you ready for our 
brilliant date. Okay, it's date time. Wait, no, it's not. It's Zack time. Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Zack is the date. Chad, I have a question. This music we're hearing right now, is this the new Uematsu composition for this game? It's not. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? Hamazu. It's better this way. What? Why? It, it's night. Oh, it's a Crisis it's Core song. I forgot. It's I knew so it was familiar. Yeah. It's nice. It's a good song. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. Oh. Uh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. The fuck? He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... Oh, she was playing the original. That's how... She she was playing... She dies. Just a Final Fan uh, Fantasy VII on the PS1. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. In FF7 Remake, Aerith told her a secret in Don't one worry. scene. I believe you. Oh. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long and gray. But it's me, Gray Leno. Today we're gonna be doing some spoilers, killing some Aerith. Zach, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. <sighs> hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... Oh, not that kind of doctor. Oh, no. <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? 
It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Please let it be a bicycle. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> don't let her. Please. I won't. Okay. Make sure that you're back by dinner. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of... Okay, if you want to start theory crafting, I'm sure there's more that people know that I don't, because I haven't finished the game. But... One of the things I kept seeing about Final Fantasy Remake, uh, 7 Remake, is that Aerith had some knowledge of the events. And one of the reasons for that is this, this is all like a loop that's starting again. And Sephiroth knows, and Aerith knows. Aerith knows because of the life stream. That's what one of the theories is. I like that theory. I don't know how true it is, but the life stream potentially is giving her a glimpse into the potential future. So it looks like Marlene got I some of those about memories. What you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. Take care. Biggs. No, I didn't. That's not what I meant. Oh, Biggs. I gotta find Elmira. It was all just a dream. Turns out, Sephiroth did this. Date, someone just said date Sith. Is this it, chat? My date is the genie from Aladdin. Those off? No. It's Tifer. Those pillow marks say different. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, want to broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And I got us tickets. Sure. At some point, After I'm going to have to watch all of the we dates. Could ride the sky wheel. Just because I'm, I'm down for that. you know, curious cool. about what they are. Like, what is it like when you take Kate Sith out? Oh, hey, Clay. Let's go. Let's go have a little haggis, yeah? <laughs> Sorry to my Scottish audience. Oh, catnippings and haggis, my favorites. Going down. Just think, chat. If we didn't have Tifa do some sit-ups earlier, this date maybe would have never happened. All the Skywheel stuff is good. You should check them out. Oh, yeah, I, I will. Definitely. Tonight, we proudly present a special production. Attention. Our special show is 
showing the Loveless Key Edition will begin shortly. We get to see Loveless. Oh god, everyone's bombing me with dialogue right now. Audience members will also be invited to participate in tonight's revival. Are you here to see Loveless? I'm here to see spam a lot. Attention, event square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them come on. Please speak to a member of the staff <laughs> at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, event square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff. <laughs> Make oh, make them bloom. I get it. Like flowers. Attention, That's stupid. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Square could just could not help themselves, could they? Hello, Cloud. It is me, Chadley. I exist in VR just as I do in the real world. Now I will perform Loveless, where all of the actors will be played by me, Chadley. I wish I had an effect where I could, like, make my voice sound like there's 10 of me so I could just do that real quick. I'm not an appreciator of theater, really. So I don't know what's going on. They have Jessup's likeness, chat. She's, I, either she signed it or she didn't. Her Jesus. I kind of thought Loveless would be a little more modern. Featuring the music of My Bloody Valentine. Vinny, you played Crisis Core Genesis constantly quotes Loveless. I forget about Crisis Core a lot. Vinny, how could you forget about Gak? I don't know. <laughs> Poor Barrett. I've never seen her look more beautiful. Yeah. She's a real star. So do they know she, like, they just got her likeness and oh, that was it.
Did you see red flapping? I didn't. mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Guardia. An insatiable machine Guardia, huh? devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfre was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Oh. Yeah, this reminds me of Final Fantasy IX a little bit. So, um... W um... Cloud Souls. Okay. It's just QTEs. You know what I dislike about QTEs? I'm now more focused on button prompts than I am watching the cutscene. All right. To proceed or not to proceed. Cloud is such a good actor. These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! <laughs> Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Would that be Kate Sith if I got Kate Sith on a date Sith? Rosa, how did you find me? No. Oh. I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. Medieval gun. <laughs> oh, oh, would the cur defy his captor? <laughs> I, that's so by the silly. The grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my blade. Goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How Gorm. <laughs> oh, I missed a bit of dialogue. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar. Some date we're going on, huh?
feel like the music is... Is it doing a thing? Like the bombing mission, or am I mistaken? Not really. Oh, I thought it was referencing the bombing mission music. seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. Someone just said mobile game ad. <laughs> and yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh! What if this was the whole game? A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship! Enough to prove his heroism once and for all! He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings! Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens! Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? I'm despairing right now, Kate Sith, because I thought we were going on a, a roller coaster. Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, Good. Okay. stand before your soulmate. Kiss him. And let the world know your heart. Is he like, aw oh, shucks.
My love. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Be really pressing them buttons. Jumbo Josh finally appeared. Why don't they use the cool the S for S ranks in video games? I can sign you to the abyss. It'll be perfect for that. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. As everything you around are burns. A true hero. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Did dance Sephiroth do this? Your strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must Mid you go? Mid Gorm. Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. That's right. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. Every night returns. Just like the day returns. Wait, are you real? I, I just love that Sid is asleep through this. <laughs> Is this actually Brianna White singing? No. It's my final fantasy. Oh, sorry.
Those bring me back to uh, Final Fantasy VIII. It, remi it reminds me of Eyes on Me, yeah. Adding a part. Come on, chat. Give me some latitude here. I'm streaming. Boo, I'm adding a good part to the song. I'll pull this ship over. This is a very powerful voice. Wait, is that still in VR? Don't show him. Just you don't have to show him. Well, that's a nice moment. I just can't believe they would show the dirtiest thing imaginable, holding hands, and it's not in VR. It's crazy. Poor, uh, poor Aerith. Here's a question. If you get Aerith for the date, does Cloud still hold hands with Tifa? No. Your relationship with Barrett has deepened? Yeah, yeah. Sid was asleep for more than half of it. Oh, looks like it was his turn to sleep. So I thought this was a virtual reality performance. It looks, are they really up there? No, but yes. That's eh, whatever. <laughs> well, that explains some of it. Bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Sounds like Chadley. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, but man, if you compared that scene to the, to the original, 
it's just like man someone just said OG is better might be I mean I guess it depends on your tastes they you know what though I applaud them for trying to do something different and giving Aerith like a moment even if you don't get her for the um for the date I like how I'm still going the wrong way. Someone said that was better than the original chat be tripping. Well, you know what? People didn't grow up with this one yet. <laughs> Aerith theme combined with gold saucer? Oh, wait, no. That's Tifer. Uh, Cloud, where are we going? I don't know. I actually. Oh. I got confused. Wait. No. Oh man. Chat, what's going on? Can I just use a Moogle? Oh man, my navigation skills are so bad. Okay, you know what it was? The fucking Moogle wasn't talking to me previously. I went to go look at the Moogle and it wasn't letting me talk to the Moogle. Before. Maybe it was the wrong Moogle. Maybe it was a decorative Moogle. Check it. Check. Check. Chat, if this gets overly emotional and romantic, I'm gonna have to, like, stop the stream because it could get banned. I'm also not allowed to show um, any emotion. I have to continue my cloud um, performance. You ready for this? A gondola's here! Well, after you... You first. Uh, Cloud? <laughs> Interrupted by fireworks. Good song. Look at this guy. Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes. Chat, is he the Rizzler? Wow. save. I think this Mako <laughs> stuff is pretty cool after all. Maybe we shouldn't save the planet. Hey, over there. See that? Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not Strike Jonklin. 
I guess I'll just have to see for myself. I love this song. Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zach. How they were friends five years ago. What? Maybe that's why Aerith was a little oh, yeah. angry. Oh. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Talking about another girl, talking about another dude. Hey, Very good date, it's Cloud. It's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kind of. Pull the Anakin Skywalker move and talk about how you think dictatorship is actually very cool and viable. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey. Ever since we were kids, even. If it I works. I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? I don't like Mako. Yeah. It's coarse, it's rough, it's irritating. Yeah. Again. <sighs> Not one bit. Sorry, chat. I had to find a way to cover the screen. I wasn't actually expecting them to kiss, but, I mean, hey, it took 60 hours, and then another 40 for the remake. So, um... Did they... Did they kiss in there in the original? No, right? But this is where Barrett is like, I like the way you thrust Cloud. This this is one of the scenes. There's a couple. We should probably head back to our rooms. <laughs> probably. Does Cloud kiss Kate Sith? He just gives him little scritches. <laughs> Full disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously. Wow, find of the century. <laughs> How did she get hired? <laughs> no, that intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancients headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we A Nepo hire? Yeah. I think she's right out of high school, too. They just like, were like, hey, you know what? You need a job. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. She's someone's niece. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Well, the problem is, though, chat, she can kick really good. 
like really good. So maybe it's not an Epo hire. Maybe she's just deadly. All right, let's bring this one home. Did it, 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 did it. I think that's where we're going to save. Hey, so we got, you know, that was a climax. No pun intended. We did it, chat. We finally got to see the date. And now, for some, the game's over. You, there's what's left. For some, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a dating simulator. Make no mistake. So, this is truly the climax of the game. Roll credits. I'd be down to check out other Skywheel clips um, another time. It was sweet though. It was it was a nice moment. Like when I was younger, that moment was, I I was I was like too young really to understand. You know that song, "What Is Love." It was that. You know what it is now? What is love? So, I still don't know what happened in that Skywheel, but let's never speak of it again. However, I thought it was the play that it was done very well. And I say that as someone who had a very intense emotional connection to the original Final Fantasy VII. So, yeah, not bad. What um, I will do is on a future stream, I'll take a look at the other uh, Skywheel dates. Someone said this is probably the last Final Fantasy game. <laughs> oh, because of the sales. Well, the sales have been decent for PS5, from what I understand. Someone said fuck the sales. Oh, I agree. You know, a good game is a good game, and there's a, a phenomenal amount of effort that went into this one, and I'm really enjoying it. Fuck the sales in that sense. However, you know, some of those games that you like that don't get sequels, it, you know, sales have a lot to do with that, I would say. And um, it is worrying when you have a game made by enough people to fill a country, probably on a giant budget that doesn't do very well so i mean they're already working on part three so that's a guarantee but i mean this listen however you feel about final fantasy this game final fantasy 7 was a zeitgeist moment that i just don't think the remake was able to capture part of it is i have some theories number one there are some people who just don't play video games anymore that's just going to happen as people get older, lives take over, uh, you know, work. It, it, of course, that's going to happen. Also, there's a lot of people and there's, you know, it's a remake, but also there's a lot of people that maybe um, don't have the same connection to Final Fantasy. Like, the, you know, one of the things that they said about 16, Final Fantasy 16, is they wanted to go for the younger demographic, which they said they succeeded at. But that game also didn't have, like, tremendous sales. It did well. But I think that there's a whole generation of people that don't have the same connection to Final Fantasy games like I do, like some of you do. Many of you do, I know. Because um, they're, man, they're fucking classic. Six, in particular, nine. Um, and plenty more that I haven't played as well. Right now, Final Fantasy fourteen is a huge thing for them. And it's doing a lot for the company. I mean, hell, their entire presentation at PAX East was all Final Fantasy XIV. So I think they're probably making decent enough money. And the brand is, is propagating through that. But just to give a couple more reasons, Final Fantasy VII Remake launched on PS4, which had, I think, what, double the install base? And it happened during the pandemic, so people were home. 
people wanted to play and get lost in a world. And hey, Final Fantasy VII Remake, fuck yeah. Well, there's a problem with that too. Some people played it. Apparently there's like a 40% completion rate in Remake. And so whatever that means, I don't know. But I do know that there were a lot of people that saw that the game was a remake, but not in the faithful kind of way. Like it was a stealth sequel and some events were changed and there were dirty dish rag ghosts and they were probably just like, "Mm, I'm good. Then you have to consider (laughs) getting a PS five in this economy. And yeah, it's a long 40 hour game. I mean, compared to the original was 40 hours, like total 45 hours, maybe. And, you know, now this is like remake is just 40 and this is like 100. So, uh, but then, yeah, then you have to like drop the money for a PS5. So even though a lot of people have a PS5, I feel like a lot of those people aren't playing games that aren't um, Spider and then ending with the word Man 2. So, like, I know the PS5 is selling games. There are games selling, but if you want like tremendous sales, You kind of have to be a Spider-Man game, I feel. I don't know all the stats. I'm sure there's a lot more that I'm not like accounting for, and I apologize if I'm getting any details wrong. But I think it's a tall order to ask someone to then buy a like a very expensive console, which, by the way, a lot of people couldn't find for years. And maybe just to play this one game, chat. I'm pretty okay. I play a lot of video games, and a lot of games I do play are on PC. I'm going to be real with you. This game is the reason I have a PS5. Sure, I was interested in Final Fantasy 16, but I just as easily could have missed out on that if 7 Rebirth was on PC. So the install base, too, you know? And and like, okay, you're not going to put Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth on the Switch because that would, like, defeat the purpose. But that's a console with a lot of fucking units out there. Then you also have Steam, which, you know, Sony was like, no, 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 we have this first. This is ours. And that happens in this industry. And so I do feel like the sales of the game were probably kneecapped by a number of reasons. And, you know, if it launched on PC, I could, I would imagine double the sales. But who knows? It's all speculation. It's all speculative. I love the game. I can't say I'm unhappy with my PS5. I think there's a lot to like about it, especially the loading times. Um, <laughs> so some There's some games, too, that are exclusive that are not on the PC. There's a couple. One day I will play more of them. Maybe, maybe perhaps two more before a PS6 comes out. I don't know. We'll see. But it's a good system. I just don't know if I need it for more than Final Fantasy right now. And I'm sure there are many that feel the same way. But also, one one final aspect too. The people that were in the right age for Final Fantasy are probably my age now, like in their late 30s, early 40s. So, you know, are they going to buy a console for one game? Do they already have a PC? Are they gamers? Are they like plugged into the gaming world? You know, because like a console is a pretty convenient way to play games that look like this without having to have a PC that's more expensive and a like fucking massive graphics card, you know? But um, a lot of people my age aren't playing games anymore. My friend Tyler does. I got a couple more. Um, Joe at at the studio, uh, Red Vox Joe, he plays like one game a year. You know, he was like playing Red Dead Redemption 2 for for a while. So anyway, um, I'm rambling and it's late. I'm going to go. But I do hope that the game sells well. A chat member actually stunlocked me into a conversation. So good job, chat member. I was going to end the stream. But um, it is something that is worth talking about and thinking about. But I do think the game is an achievement and an accomplishment in a number of different avenues, and I do really, really like it. It's not perfect, but I hope um, 
people are enjoying it as much as I am. And I'm looking forward to finishing it and then getting angry at it. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'll be around soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after with um, RimWorld finale, perhaps. Unless something else crazy happens. But I'm, I'm looking to finish it in the next couple days. So, uh, good night, goodbye, thank you for joining, thank you for watching, and see you when I see you.